Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is yet another post-installation tip on installing Windows 7. I hope you don't get too bored with these, but it's just little steps along the way I've been finding that's very important and I need to discuss it with you. So I wanted to show you this. What we need to do is Windows uh, Vista and Windows 7 is based very highly with the arrow and everything you're going to get. Uh, I see my arrows already working. But it's based very, 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 very highly on the performance uh, rating on the computer. You need a performance rating of, I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's 3.0 or higher to get the graphics and everything generating on the computer properly. So, uh, what I wanted to show you today was, or in this video, how to actually up that performance or check that performance rating after the install. Click on the, the Start button, right-click on uh, Computer, and go to Properties. Now, we're going to look down here where it says Performance Information and Tools, and then left-click on that. Now, this is what you may or may not have. You may already, the, the Windows 7 may already adjusted your computer and said, hey, cool, I figured it all out for you. You have a rating of whatever. Uh, it says up here Rating, and I've never seen 7.9 uh, ever. Uh, but 1.0 to 7.9. What I found was, after I've installed Windows 7, uh, if you install a new video card, actually, also, if you install more memory in your computer, anything that's going to change these ratings, rescan this computer because the rating is going to go up and it's going to give you better experiences on your computer. Then just click on Rate This Computer. Now, it is going to take a few uh, few seconds here or so to go through this rating. Um, so we're just going to uh, pause this until we're ready to come back up with it. Once everything goes on and, every, and the, uh, it's done calculating out, it's going to take a few minutes. Your screen's going to flash a couple times. Don't get nervous. Don't get scared. It's okay. And it's going to give you uh, determined by the lowest subscore. The lowest score is my graphics uh, is a 4.4, which is well above the 3.0. And I can see that I have the arrow turned on just by moving my mouse over these windows, how it gives you that little... Uh, you know, little preview there. Um, another way you can see that you have it turned on, let me open up a couple applications here. Uh, Paint, uh, Solitaire, is when you hold your Windows key down, you hit your tab key, you get this neat little effect. So I can tell you that the arrow is working on this computer, which is nice. It's a nice visual effect. Does it mean anything in performance? No. Uh, but it's cool. You can jump through and say, I want that application. Um, you, know, you could do a side-by-side -side thing. I have two monitors, so I can move this to the other monitor. You can pull it up there and leave it go. It kind of jumps out at you full screen. So, But like I said, it does give you the preview down here. And that's really nice. But the arrow is turned on, um, and uh, it is actually working. And we know that because we have a score of, like I said, I think it's 3.0 is the lowest. It might be 2.0 that you can get the arrow to work. But 3.0 is uh, the lowest. I know that it's not going to give you any issues at all with it. So that is how you rate your computer. You can uh, print that out if you wish to keep more printed junk in your room. I would suggest that who really cares uh, that you know we don't need that information. We're not going to print that out. Uh, you can rerun the assessment later. Like I said, if you add a video card or memory, uh, if it's going to change something on your computer, maybe your disk drive, your rate of your transfer of your disk. Um, Maybe something's going to go on there. You can rerun that later. And then you can go in. You can actually personalize your computer just to uh, throw this up here at you. I thought this was cool. I found this the other day. Get more themes online. If you don't think you have enough themes on your computer, you want to personalize it a little bit more than the, uh, the stuff they give you, go online. There's a ton of stuff on there that you can use. And uh, I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, like Avia, Aviator. Uh, Bing, Coca-Cola, um, Gears of War. There's just a, a bunch of different ones on there. You can look through and uh, play around. You know, you're going to change your system sounds when you use these things. I did use one at work. I can't remember what the name of it was. International themes are nice to, if you like to see different uh, scenes. Here's Brazil. Uh, I, let's see, Brazil. I actually visited um, Jamaica once. I, I don't see Jamaica on there, but... Uh, Let's try Brazil, and uh, we're just going to open the theme pack up and let it go. 
It's going to download it here and uh, put it into your themes so you can actually use it. Again, folks, just post installation stuff. Um, we're going to allow this to happen. And uh, here we go. We have a different theme now. So uh, you can see new pictures, new backgrounds here. Really nice looking. Uh, and these things rotate every so often. If you're using Windows 7, you'll notice that the themes kind of rotate. I think they stole that from WebShots. WebShots kind of does that. Uh, makes me crazy when people load down their computers at work, though, because I don't think it's a decent program to have on your computer. If you're from WebShots, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't like the uh, spyware associated with that or adware. Okay, folks, hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on rating your computer. Just another post-installation thought of installing Windows 7. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Thanks for watching and bye for now.